How's it going everyone? It's Sam. Today I want to talk to you about a an investment that I think is undervalued. It's within the crypto space. I, I think it's undervalued. I actually talked about it a month ago. It raced up in price. Now it's come back down to earth and there's a lot of announcements about it recently. So I want to go through that and you can check it out. I'll put some links underneath the video. They are a partner of the channel. It's actually DeFi Technologies. It's a stock. It's really cool what they have going on and what the, some of the news that they've come out with blew up the company like in a really good way since last time I talked about it. It's up 30x or it went up 30x on the year and I still think it's undervalued. Now that's come down to it's, it's an interesting point to jump into the market. Last time I talked about it was about a month ago. So I wanted to give you some of the big updates that they've had. Let's start here. They give TradFi exposure to digital assets in Web3 institutional grade exposure through ETPs in Europe. Now this is basically like a management company. It's like the Berkshire Hathaway of crypto in that they have multiple income streams. They use staking, management fees, lending earnings, uh, strategic partnerships, uh, and this is used to maximize revenue generation for the parent company. Now they hold uh, ownership positions in Valor. This is one of their fully or wholly owned subsidiaries and reflexivity research, which you might have heard about this before, creates uh, reports, in-depth research reports. But Valor is really their crown jewel. And they also own some other companies as well. But Valor is really interesting. They have all these single asset ETPs, such as BTC0, ETH0, ADA, or ADA ETPs, BNB, all these different single assets. And then they also have some uh, basket ETPs as well. Now, the interesting thing about this is they can give you zero fees, uh, zero management fees, because they use staking to make a lot of their profit. They can get on average about 6.5% uh, from staking some of these different cr uh, coins and cryptos. There's also like a two to three year time before you can get approved for these ETPs. So they basically have a license to print money in the meantime, while uh, other companies might try to catch up. They've been growing their AUM quite quickly too. If you look in the bear market, like it was tough. They had 100 million, under 100 million in AUM. Now they're at five times that. And a lot of that is due to crypto appreciating. A lot of it is due to people wanting to get access to some of their funds as well. Their CEO and director was the founder of Hive Blockchain, which is a massive Bitcoin miner. They also have Johan Wadestrom, who's the co-founder and director of Valor Cayman. He's the founder of XBT Provider, which was the world's first Bitcoin ETP way back in the day. Now, that was actually from my last video about a month ago. Uh, and since then, it, by the way, if you want to see that last video, I covered a lot more in that video too. I'll put that on the end screen. But since then, they've been coming out with a bunch of news. I'll go through some of it in a second. But as you can see here, even... Uh, their ETPs are growing, right? The DeFi Technology Subsidiary, Valor, and Hashgraph Association celebrate successful launch of the world's first Valor Hedera ETP. So now you can get access to Hedera through an ETP, an exchange-traded product. Now, since talking about DeFi technologies a while ago, let me actually pull this up. It's, it went up from about a dollar when I talked about it, a dollar and four cents maybe, all the way up 117%. This is when I said that I thought it was undervalued and that even though it, up, it was up 1,500% on the year, like a 16X, I thought it was undervalued and it went and doubled. You know, some people were up 30, uh, 30X on the year. And since then, it's actually come back down. So it's up 17% since I talked about it the first time around, uh, going through the, man, uh, the, the case for it. But there's actually a reason for that. We'll talk about that. But since then, like after I made that video, uh, this was back one month ago. It was June 9. I swear, the week after I posted about it, when I thought I was early, like I was talking about something that I had not really seen on Twitter, it blew up on Twitter. DeFi Technologies announced last night that they will sh that they will start share buybacks. Buried in the release was the fact that the company has 51 million in cash right now. We are shareholders across multiple entities and continue to believe the stock is undervalued. This is June 7. Uh, and then, so like right when I was posting that, but then it came out 
that they bought 110 Bitcoin and adopted Bitcoin as their primary treasury reserve asset. Another publicly listed company that adopts the Bitcoin standard. The stock is up 10% since the announcement and it kept on pumping. This news came out and there's more news that they continue to push out there. Like for example, they launched their core chain validator node to participate in the network consensus and staking. They staked about 1500 Bitcoin. If you don't know about core, uh, it's a really interesting project. I actually am a holder in core. It's a crypto. Uh, and then they also announced the first and only yield bearing Bitcoin ETP in collaboration with core foundation to actually give a little bit of yield. Now, here's another piece of news. Crypto platform DeFi technologies to acquire trading desk Stillman Digital. This is a $3.1 million USD deal. And this happened just a few days ago. It's a strategic step that not only expands their capabilities in the trading sector, but also diversifies their client base and revenue streams. The resulting DeFi platform will will combine crypto asset management, execution, and proprietary trading. They say that this is akin to a smaller version of Galaxy Digital in our view, as it would include variations of Galaxy's product offerings. As you can see here too, Will Clemente, who's one of the biggest Bitcoin analysts in the space, he says DeFi Technologies, the firm that acquired Reflexivity, which is their research company that Will had, uh, looks primed after earlier uh, this week reporting that they've done 30, uh, 83.4 million in arbitrage revenue alone this quarter, not to mention fee revenue from their ETPs. And they says, note, I'm obviously a shareholder. This was around the same time that uh, Pomp was talking about them as well. So you have two of the biggest Bitcoin bulls, two of the most well-connected guys in the space that are young, that are shareholders. So it's really interesting to me. Now it's come down about 46%. Um, They continue to put out good news like uh, DeFi subsidiary Reflexivity Research partners with CoinMarketCap to deliver crypto insights. So they keep on coming out with more and more news. I think the main reason that it fell a bit was, well, one, there was a short report and they came out and uh, kind of refuted some of the stuff that was in that short report. Then also the fact is the market just fell a good amount. Like if you look at the price of Bitcoin from around this time, June 17 to now, well, Bitcoin sold down a lot because of the German government. They went and dumped 50,000 Bitcoin on the market. Now that's done. They, it came out that they're done with their Bitcoin. They don't have any more Bitcoin. And in this time too, a lot of crypto related stocks kind of deflated a bit um, as as just the wind was taken out of the sails for crypto. So yeah, it's been interesting to see how this affects DeFi, but now they're back basically at the price that I talked about them and they still have their underlying businesses, their ETP businesses, which are beautiful cash generating machines. Uh, and they also have announced a lot of this other good news and you know, Bitcoin goes up now that they're a Bitcoin uh, treasury company, they're probably gonna do extremely well. Let me know your thoughts on this underneath the video. Of course, they are a partner and a sponsor of the channel, so you can check out the, uh, you can check out all the disclaimers underneath the video. Thank you so much, though. I appreciate it. I really like DeFi. Let me know what you think about it, though. I think it will do really well in the bull run. I'll see you in the next video.